What's going on, YouTube? Crypto Matrix here, coming at you another cryptocurrency streamer. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a professional leverage trader and instructor, and I make my living trading cryptocurrency. Some serious efficiency. If you guys want to learn how to trade better and make the gains that you deserve, head right over to the student program. Get signed up. Links are below and above. And if you guys just want the little additive edge, you've got to follow me on my socials. For instance, I change the color of my eyes, which way I'm leaning in the market that day, and that can help you guys get some additive gains in your trades. And by the way, coming in April, guys, there's going to be a Bitcoin convention in Miami. That's something that me and many students will be at. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I can get a guest speaking position. But if you guys maybe even want to reach out and meet me, I'll be in Miami April 6th through 9th, 2022, guys. Register and get your tickets today. And guys, there is no time left to waste. I'm just going to go over the Bitcoin price for today. We have a lot of stuff going on. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, definitely smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and I'm going to dive right into the price action. All right, guys, so let's just start out with Bitcoin right here. So, for instance, we had this pattern that we were working with before. And yes, many patterns within patterns within, guys, go down to the mixture on the smaller time frames to get all of these. But, guys, we're just going to have to do some readjusting right here. Okay, so let me just change this for you guys here. And we can look exactly where this would go. So, for instance, what I would do is I would extend this all the way down, move that down like this to right there, and then move the bottom out just like this, move it up tight. And then we get as many touches as we can right there, guys. And that's exactly what I'm looking at. Definitely a strong symmetrical triangle here on the 15 minute. And lots of just bouncing around, establishing a nice support and resistance within the patterns, guys. And this is where I like you to use wedge theory in combination with your indication plays to make these trades a reality. But in simplicity, guys, what I want you to do is play the breakouts of the major resistance and or support. Okay, so for instance, measured from the back of the pattern. Okay, and this is symmetrical for those of you wondering to target potential projection. Now say like we actually tighten up a little further. As you guys can see, the stotch is loaded up on the 15 minute, but you zoom out to the one hour and we're still almost loaded up. Let's go to the four hour, right in the middle, daily, loaded up guys. So, you know, I'm, I'm still leaning pretty bullish on Bitcoin. Oh, well, that being said, you need a major flipping of the EMAs on minimally the one hour up here. And notice we don't have that guys, hence my neutrality right now. And yes, we are looking technically bearish for the last week and change here easily. But that being said, I think there's still a lot more bullish favor to come towards the end of the year. Usually, to be honest guys, this is like the calm before the storm. I'm expecting some much higher prices here and with lots of things to play out near. Now there's one pattern that's also jumping out at me too. I hope this doesn't happen. But for instance, we could have a head and shoulders right here. Okay, with a very clear point of support there guys. Watch for that to be broken. Symmetricals can break either way, guys, and that's kind of the point here. Player indications in combination with volume even use the stotch as an early warning indication here for the crossings. Play, geez, play the MACD if you've missed it all. I mean, guys, there's so many different indication combinations you can use in these moments. One I really like is the 7 and the 20. Go all the way down to the 5 to see that polar price action flip. Get it as close to a support or resistance as you can, and then play with the trend. It is your friend until the end. If we break out to the top side, we're easily looking at above a $56,000 Bitcoin. And to the downside, guys, we'll, we'll easily be testing some major supports down here at around 40700 and change. Notice that's right where that wick went down to. That's the point, guys. If we do end up walking down a little further, that is a very obvious target projection. Ride it to polar support to what was polar resistance now support easily no matter what remember when you don't have emas to go out you can also zoom out and just see if there's anything to play off of like for instance go to the daily and we don't guys this could be a little bearish here we could flip down do kind of like one of these things like we did here back in june before it pumped up almost like another mini accumulation guys and like what i've been talking about is this right here being an expansion phase okay mini expansion phase and then a reaccumulating phase which will be the last time to reaccumulate before we pump up guys and that's exactly what i believe will happen and yes, we were right about everything so far, guys. Everything's been going really well for us. And guys, if you're just new to the channel, pay attention. You're going to see that there's opportunities to make money all day, every single day. And guys, while we're zoomed out, just let me emphasize right here. Notice how all of this resistance and support played relevancy later. Okay, That's what's really cool about this stuff, guys. We have a lot to work with. And guys, let's be real here. We could just still be walking up. We could just be walking up, and then eventually we're going to get that parabolic pop and definitely some amazing times following it. Okay? 
And guys, that's all the time I have for today. Definitely some amazing times in cryptocurrency. My gosh, I mean, we are on the verge of some of the highest times in cryptocurrency that we are just ever going to see. All I know is my bags are packed with very little cash left to spend. I mean, my gosh, anytime I get extra crash, it is going right into cryptocurrency, as you should, guys. In the infancy stages of a currency, you want to maximize your profit margin by putting into main coins or even altcoin projects with strong belief with a good team that's how you're gonna make a lot of money understand guys it's just like when the credit card came out this is the new thing digitized currency is the future be part of the revolution and guys if you just aren't making those gains that's what the student program is for make the gains you deserve obtain the knowledge then the profit comes to you that's the message guys and just remember if you don't come from a rich family a rich family must come from you I am crypto matrix I'll catch you guys later.